Want to add social media icons to your WordPress menu? I'll show you how to do that coming right up. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I invite you to do that. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when we publish new videos. So social media icons in your WordPress menu. It's a good idea to display links to your social media profiles in the menu of your website for a couple of reasons. The most obvious is probably so that if someone wants to follow you on Twitter, Instagram, etc., they can easily do that. But it's also a good way to build trust with your audience and potentially increase conversions. If people click through to your Facebook page and they see lots of glowing reviews for your products and services, that can definitely help build trust. And when people see that you or your company actively engages with your audience on social media, that also gives the feeling that you're a legit business, you take your business and your customers and clients seriously, and if someone has an issue, they have a reliable way to contact you. So if you're wondering if it's worth the effort to put social media icons in your menu or in the header of your website, I think it definitely is. So what's the best way to add social media icons to your WordPress menu or header? Well, I would recommend using Thrive Theme Builder as your WordPress theme and then using the tools that come with it. Thrive Theme Builder lets you take complete control over your WordPress website. You can design the header you want, you can design the blog post layout you want, and you can place social media icons wherever you want them. And there's no coding or design skills needed because Thrive Theme Builder comes with pre-designed templates to help you get started and all you have to do is customize them. So let's get started with Thrive Theme Builder. The first thing you'll need to do after purchasing Thrive Theme Builder or Thrive Suite if you've chosen to purchase all of our tools at an amazing value is download and install the Thrive Product Manager plugin, which you can do by logging into your Thrive Themes account. After you have downloaded this plugin, then you can head over to the WordPress backend. Here in WordPress, you can go to Plugins and Add New. Then you can click the button to upload a plugin, and then that's where you will select the plugin that you just downloaded, and then you can proceed with installing and activating the Thrive Product Manager. And once you've activated the Product Manager, you should see it appear in the left sidebar. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, you can select the Thrive tools you need, and then go ahead and follow the prompts to install and activate your tools. After installing Thrive Theme Builder, you'll be prompted to go through the Thrive Theme Builder site wizard where you can choose the layout for your website. So first you'll be prompted to upload a logo and then choose a brand color, and then you can choose the layout for your header, footer, homepage, etc. So let's take a look at all of the available header layouts. Simply go to the upper right hand corner and click the drop down menu. And here are all of the available designs for the theme header. So the reason why I wanted to show you this is because this is by far the fastest way to add social media icons to your menu. Simply choose a menu that already has social media icons where you want them to be. So let's say I like this layout here. We've got our social media icons on the right and I'll just click choose and continue. So now it has moved me on to the next step. It wants me to choose a footer. I'm going to let you explore the rest of the site wizard on your own. Let's move on to customizing the header. So let's go to the templates tab in Thrive Theme Builder and let's go to our active home page template and I'll just click edit landing page. Okay, so here I have my homepage template. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is that everything on this template is completely customizable. So of course you can change the text and images, but you can change the layout, you can add blocks, you can add elements, you can really do whatever you want to do with your homepage. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the header. Here we have our social media icons. Let's click on the header to edit it and let's go to edit header. And then let's go ahead and click on these social media icons and you should see social follow highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Now, if you would like to change the style of these icons, you can absolutely do that. Go down to style and let's look at the available options. So let's choose this one and I'll click apply. And you have several more options for customizing these icons. So if you would like to do custom branding, you can absolutely do that. You can also do a vertical layout if you like. You can change the size and alignment. 
And under social networks, you can choose which social platforms to display. And for each social network, you can click on the pencil icon to choose what the button is going to link to. The default is that each platform button will take you to the link that you have specified in the smart site dashboard, which we're going to go over in just one moment. But you can also specify a static link for each button if you like. So to make things easy, I would suggest leaving this on dynamic link and filling out the social media section in your Thrive Themes smart site dashboard. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Next, let's take a look at Smart Site Global Fields. Let's go to the Thrive dashboard and let's look for Smart Site. Here it is. And let's go to Smart Settings. And here is where you can fill out your global fields. What's nice about global fields is that certain kinds of information, for example, like your company name and address, will be displayed in multiple places throughout your website, but you only have to enter it in once, which is right here in global fields, and all of those other places will pull that information from right here. So let's scroll down to social. And here is where you can put in links to your Facebook profile, your YouTube channel, your LinkedIn profile, etc. And then you can place social icons throughout your website. So you can put them in your header, in your footer, in your sidebar, and you won't have to manually enter in your profile every single time. And if any of your information changes, you can simply come right back here to global fields and simply click the pencil icon to edit your information, make your change, and it will automatically update throughout your website. So I would definitely recommend just taking a few minutes to fill out these global fields because it is a huge time saving feature. Next, I'd like to show you how to add social media icons to your menu if you chose a template that doesn't already have them. So I've got a pretty simple looking header up here. Let's say I'd like to add social icons to the right of these three items. Let's go ahead and click on the header section and then let's click the button to edit the header. And now I'll go over to the right and click the add element button. And let's look for the social follow element. Here it is. And I'll simply click and drag this into place. All right. So these are looking just a little bit too large. Let's go over here to the options on the left and let's change the size. And then we can move this over to the right by clicking on the divider here and just moving this over. Now you can see that the social follow icons are in a column of their own and they're actually aligned to the left. If you would like to align them to the right of the column, just make sure that social follow is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then under main options, go to the right align button. And as I showed you earlier, you still have all of these options for changing the style of these icons. All right, so those were a couple of ways to add social media icons to your WordPress menu or header using Thrive Theme Builder. I hope it was helpful. Now, as far as purchasing, you can purchase Thrive Theme Builder on its own, but I would recommend taking a look at Thrive Suite because that includes all of our plugins and tools, and it's a really fantastic value for what you're getting. Links are going to be down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more WordPress tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.